So let's go ahead and open ArcGIS. I'm going to go down to my All Apps, and then I'm just going to browse to my ArcGIS folder, and we're going to be looking for Arc Map. Now, when you come up, first start it up, you're going to get a, a generic document template, and in order to get up and running very quickly, we're just going to go ahead and accept the defaults here, and we want a blank map. Now, in the future, this template we're setting up you'll want to browse and find it and open that template. So we're going to click OK. And then a few things that we're going to do to set up this template is we're going to go up to uh, File and Map Document Properties. Now in here, I always like to put my name because I'm going to author it. And that's always a good uh, metadata principle to have. And then if you want to put a description, uh, in this case I might put template, uh, or you can just leave it blank. You could name it if you would so choose uh, template. But the critical thing here is to go to path names and check store relative paths. I leave the default geo database in order to get up and running very quickly. I just leave that as a default. But what this store relative paths means is if you've ever noticed in Windows when you start plugging in multiple external hard drives, this drive letter C changes. And if we do not store relative path names, Every time you log into a computer, it needs to know where to find your data. And if you plug in multiple hard drives and that letter changes, let's say from a, a D to an E, it's like a street address. It doesn't know where to find it. However, the store relative path names will look at your map document, where your layers are and where they're linked to, and then it kind of looks in relationships to each other. Uh, and so it just simplifies data management a little bit although you still need to pay attention um, but it just makes it a little bit easier so we'll click apply click OK so that's the first step uh, the next step I come to my layers right here I'm gonna right click go to properties and we're gonna set up our coordinate system so that way our data is somewhere in the world and it's located properly it's measured properly now for the tutorial that I am going to use, uh, the data I'm going to use to create the figure ground with some parcel data added to it is in Denver, Colorado. And so you can see I saved it to my favorites. It's the NAD 1983-2011 State Plain Colorado North FIPS 0501 US feet. And you can find that underneath the projected coordinate systems. You come down to State Plain and you need the NAD 1983 2011 uh, US feet which is this one we'll open that up and we'll browse down to Colorado North and then you would select that hit apply and OK if you want to put it in your favorites you can click that little star um, and then to find the Wisconsin one which is what a lot of my students will be using for projects uh, within Wisconsin is the NAD 1983 Wisconsin TM US feet and so again that's under projected coordinate systems but it is not in the state plane it is a state system and then we're going to go down to NAD 1983 Wisconsin and US feet and so you could put oh, I'm sorry we're going to go all the way down here we go, to the NAD 1983 Wisconsin TM US feet, and you're going to select that one. And again, once you have the one you want selected, you can simply hit Apply and OK. Now a quick tour around, we have our table of contents where our layers are here. And then we have our menu bars and things here. And if you ever um, kind of lose some of your menu bars, you can look at your window and you can see your table of contents, your catalog, and your search. Uh, and if you lose some of the other ones, you can simply right click out here and turn them on and off. Now, one other thing we want to make sure that we have uh, things turned on is we go to Customize, Extensions, and we just want to turn on all the extensions that we can and click Close. And the last thing we want to do is now that we have our template set, we go to File, we want to Save As, and then this is where we will browse to our folder that we have 
created uh, in our process documents wherever you have that. Mine's buried uh, relatively deep here at the moment. Process data, and this is a map document. It's not the data, but it's a map document. And I'm just gonna go ahead and call it template. Click save. So now anytime we start up ArcGIS, we wanna open this template because we've gone ahead and configured those settings ahead of time. We don't have to worry about them in the future. So that concludes this video. Thanks.